Chapter 5 Everyone is busy. Once there was a boy. He lived with the parents in a small town. His name was Rohan. His father was a potter. He wanted his son to become an officer. So instead of his low income, he sent him to a good school. Rohan was a lazy boy. He did not like to go to school. He was not interested in studies. He liked to play around in the garden. He very often ran away from the school. He spent his time in the streets, often playing with some of his friends. His parents were unhappy with him. They wanted him to study hard and stand first in the class. One morning, his father sent him to the school. As per his routine, in spite of going to the school, he decided to go to the garden. It was a bright and sunny morning. The birds were singing songs and enjoying the day. Butterflies were flying from one plant to another, enjoying the nectar from the flowers. Rohan was feeling really happy to be away from his school. He saw looking the beautiful flies moving from one flower to another. He was a bee and went towards it. Dear bee, you are so beautiful. Will you play with me? Oh no, I cannot play with you. Why can't you play with me? I'm very busy. I have to gather honey for the coming winter. I have no time to play. Then Rohan saw a small bird with a piece of straw in its beak. Hey little bird, you are so sweet. Will you come and play with me? No, no, I don't have extra time. I have to make my nest complete as the winter season is coming. After saying this, the little bird flew away. Rohan then saw some ants running with grains of rice toward their holes. Dear aunt, come on, stay with me for some time. We shall play together. Sorry, dear, we have to gather food for ourselves. Winter is round the corner and we don't have even a single minute to play. If we play now, we would die of hunger in the winter season. The ants moved towards their hole quickly. When he was roaming in the garden, he saw a dog. He decided to ask the dog. Dear doggy, you are a fine dog. Please come and play with me. Sorry dear, I have to guard my master's house. I must run fast, otherwise thieves would get into my master's house. Then my master would punish me. Rohan felt ashamed and thought that there is no one else idle except him. If the bees, birds, ants and dog are so busy, why I am not busy? Why I am so lazy? Saying so, he ran towards the school. He had now made up his mind not to waste his time sitting idle. Thereafter, he read his lessons and solved the sums carefully. He stood first in the class. Now, he was praised by all the teachers in the school. His parents felt proud of his achievements. Later, he progressed in his life and became an army officer.